All right, Kenman here, and today is Die Project number 17, part 2. Fights. This is the Ethan Grow EF911. This is the one when I took it apart. You can watch in this video right there. It was 16 and 17, part A and B. Because die number 16, we did purple. And at the same time, we took this backspacer from this part, from this knife, and we made this backspacer purple so that now we can do the scales in a different color and we'll get a two-tone look with this. So that was why I did the combo initially, and now we've separated them out. I already did the, the Sativian, obviously, in the purple. We can look at that in a minute here. But during that, I got this one done, so now we have that spacer all purple as well. I cleaned these off. And they are ready for dye. And if you recall, this frame was rusted, all nasty. I'd never used this knife. It was 20 bucks, and uh, I bought it. It sat on my table, and this had rust spots all over it. Uh, fortunately for me, I work at a metal finishing company that can do a lot of neat things. And so I brought these in, and we cleaned them up. And they are good to go, at least for now. So not a complete wash. We can at least dye this, put it back together and get a look at it. And if it starts rusting out again or whatever, you know, so be it. But here we are, boom, boom. All this is ready to go. We're gonna put it aside for now. Reveal all the ones that we've done already. And they're glorious colors. We're gonna shift. Today we're doing orange. So we're gonna do another orange and purple, kind of like this Gobi, except for we're doing reverse. The scales are going to be orange and the spacer is purple. Uh, should still be interesting for this knife. And like I said, I kind of bought this one. just to, I wanted to get an Ethan Grow and a Sativian and just kind of try out those super budget knives. This one happened to be a G10 scales and a D2 blade, which the materials are decent. So it should be decent. But to have that rust uh, was, yeah, that's a big, big bad no go for me, but it's still something we can play around with. All right, orange is hot going in. As everyone knows, if you've seen before, you want to make sure there aren't any air bubbles on the uh, part. Uh, bubbles are kind of a spot where then the dye is not hitting, and then that dye will not uh, develop as much in that spot. And so you want a uniform color. You really want to make sure there's no bubbles. All right, we've got them all set up on the hooks real nice. Get them dropped in. They are in. No real bubbles look like they're on either of these. And we're dipping. We are dying. It is happening. Okay, let me turn this up just a little bit, but not much. You want to be close to boiling. The faster you're closer you are to boiling, the... Uh, the quicker the dye can take effect, you can dye at room temperature, which I am going to be doing pretty soon with the coleus, with a marble dye. Um, we're going to mix it with shaving cream so it can sit on there for longer, but it'll take more than 24 hours to dye something that is room temperature dye. So we've got a heating sitting over there doing its thing. We can take a look at these for a couple of minutes. We are almost at four minutes in. That last one went 30 minutes on the dot, I rushed the ending so I could finish by 30 minutes. It's silly, um, but here we are. It was this Sativian, ST901, I believe. I Yeah, whatever, but we got it purple. We got it done. If you look, see that blade is nice and centered. Action is still the same that it was when I got it which is crazy because this is literally like the cheapest knife I've ever purchased. Uh, well, maybe the cheapest like full size knife I've ever purchased. It was like $18, $18 these days. Shiny, you know, materials aren't too great. I think this is eight CR, there it is. Not the greatest. Um, longevity uh, blade steel, but we've got that G10 handle. It's got this nice action. It flips out real easy. It flicks out real easy. Ugh, really? What do you guys think? Purple turned out pretty good. 
very similar in shade to the uh, CJRB Gobi. Almost identical. A little different because it's got those accents. Kind of makes it pop a little different. But it's a nice color and uh, I wanted to do another one. and Got that backspacer with that other knife with this color now. So that's pretty cool. Oh geez. There's your fail. Everyone gets a Kenman fail every video. No matter what I do it will happen. Uh, this uh, FG Civivi Vision. This was only in the die for one minute. We got this cool red. Love this knife. It is great. Works really good. One minute though. This yellow, a little bit see-through on the Crowley. Crowley button lock is flawless. I will continue to say it. I love this knife. I made it really light so you can kind of see through it, which is cool. Feldspar is a really cool knife. Uh, this is a nice budget $30 knife, but something about it, it just works for me. It, it feels really nice in my hand, and I just enjoy it even though it's a cheaper uh, knife. Okay. Sencut Br Brazoria. Nice one. This one's also that orange we've got in there right now. It's got This has black uh, liners, so that's going to make that orange look a little bit darker. We also did the uh, Sencut Fantara in the orange, but I did that very short amount of time because I wanted to keep this see-through section right here which I think turned out great. Gives it a little bit more peach of a color, but I don't mind. I wanted to get that see-through kind of look, and it worked. So the orange does look pretty nice. Let's uh, sneak a peek. What are we looking at? What do we got? Okay, looks like tang. So when it starts to drip off, if you look right at the top of the scale, you can see that it, it is... Uh, the liquid as it drips off it lightens up and so when you right when you yank it out of there it looks a little darker than it actually is when you put it into a rinse you'll see a lot better how much lighter it is than what it looks like when we take it out so this is still lighter than the desired orange <laughs> that I'm going for he called the orange orange that we're looking for. I wanted a little bit darker on this one, so we're gonna let that sit a little longer. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this heat up a little bit more. Just make sure we are nice and as close to boiling as possible. We're gonna cut back over here. Where were we? This is the Artisan Cutlery Arroyo. I quite enjoy this knife. It's cool looking. I love red. This darker red kind of turned out really cool, and then it's got that extra shiny like frame they like really polished all the metal on this a little bit more i really love the way that looks i like the action of this it's this is a fun knife i am quite like an artisan cutlery <clears throat> all right fair and forge gent 2.0 this was a yellow dye that we left in too long and it ended up green but i don't mind i actually love the way this turned out i wish you could get the green dyes to to work that well green tends to be a color that doesn't work as good um, here is this little, this is one of the first ones we did, Civivi Fair and Forge um, Odium. Got a nice lighter blue shade. But yeah, I tried to do this green with this Femius. Kubi Femius, dude, look at this. Ugh. Love the Femius. I kept talking about it like every video now. Um, it looked like it got a little air bubble. If you notice, it's a little bit lighter in this spot right here. But if you notice, the shape of it is the exact same as the pocket clip on this side. It goes up. So I'm wondering if like when it was there, if the pocket clip kind of rubbed on that or it did. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It'd be strange for that bubble to just hit in the exact same spot that that kind of rubs. Um, don't mind. Love the knife. Flicks out really good. Ah. Uh, Kubi Femius, underrated. It's like, I don't even know. I don't barely see any videos on that or anything. Let's look at the rest of these quick. This is the Kubi Royal. Nice little front flipper, another blue. This was the Aquamarine, or wait. Yeah, this was the Aquamarine blue. It kind of has a little more lighter, lighter blue to it versus this one was that super teal. Or maybe that was Aquamarine and that's... Doesn't matter. I've already looked at those. 
This is the Thalia in that Geo Metro looking teal. There's nothing there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, but that's got that huge front flipper. It's like this one's designed for a front flipper. Look at how big that thing is. But lots of colors, lots of fun. It's been really exciting. I enjoy the die project. It's been quite a fun little process for me. A lot of different things have happened. Uh, just the last one putting back together should have been easy to go back together. And I had the stupidest. I don't. I don't know what my problem was, but I was being dumb and doing stuff wrong. And it just took 10 minutes when it could have taken three minutes. And I don't know. Here we are. Unedited. You get to see it all. And it's my stumbling glory. Okay. So, I have this rinse. This water rinse over here. We're going to go into the rinse so we can see what orange we are at when it's got those big chunks of dye on it you can't quite tell what color you've hit so when you go in to do a little rinse like this you definitely get a better idea of what you're looking at for a final color what do you think it's kind of lighter than i was expecting like figured it would take take to it a little bit faster it's kind of peach it's funny how it looks darker right here and it's because it's it's thinner and since it's thinner right there it's sucking more dye into that spot hmm yep I'm calling it uh, I maybe would like it to be a little darker orange but this knife as you know the budgeter budgeter is that a word the budget price that it was plus the frame having the rust on it and I don't know if that rust is going to come back my faith in this particular knife um, longevity wise is not great so we're going to let it be this color orange and fine with it we've done what we need to do we're learning more about dyes and making more this is a two-tone so that purple is going to darken it up on the inside and make it pop a little bit more which is fine this is orange um i know our i added another light i don't know if you can make it tell or makes a difference but i did get a few more lights i'm kind of changing up my lighting a little bit for my videos try to make them as good as i possibly can and I feel like that light is making it, the actual lighting in the kitchen makes everything look a little more yellow, but it's also the walls and everything in here. It's kind of an older, dated, 50s kind of style house, um, and I should paint the walls, but they're yellow, this really light yellow. I think it kind of makes everything look a little more yellow as well. Um, but with this extra light that I added, I feel like it's kind of given us a little bit more true color this time around. Uh, we will see. Okay, so uh, did I talk about it? I made a couple videos today. Um, I don't think I did on this one yet. I bought my, I booked my room for Blade Show Texas. Gonna be going to Blade Show Texas coming up February. Uh, it was the 23rd, 24th, or something like that. Uh, in like four months from now. If they are going, please comment below. Let me know you're gonna be there. Maybe meet up with me. Um, I'm going solo, I'm from Minnesota. I got my uh, room booked, but I uh, still need to get a flight or decide if I'm going to drive. I'm still considering driving, but I'll probably fly um, since I am solo. We'll see. i got a few months to figure it out, watch some flights, see if there's any specials that pop or anything like that. But I will be at Blake Show, Texas in February. I'm excited to meet some people. Uh, make some more videos it's gonna be fun it's gonna be really fun okay so let's get this back together um, but yeah in that if you have gone give me any advice that you've got what are essentials that you need to bring what are things you don't need to bring what is just stuff to be aware of I'm, I'm gonna make some videos about it as I prep and get ready for it 
Um, but it's exciting. I kind of want to maybe 3D print something cool and give it away or have a little, I don't want to poach off other people's ideas, but maybe do like a little Q&A slash trivia giveaway thing as I walk around and interact with people. I don't know. I, I just want to do some fun stuff. We'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, the last time we did this, it was a chaotic mess. I forgot about the backspacer piece on the other one, and so I had it almost together without the backspacer piece. It was, you know, we'll just say, uh, it was, was I, it wasn't my best work. Okay, these fit in here nicely. This is not a captive pivot, so it just pokes through on that side there. Let's, oh, that's funny, and I don't even, okay. Let's see if we can get this together in a organized and less than last time's horrible fashion. I like what's happening. I'm not going to try to talk too much and jinx it. What is that? What? What is that? What the hell? Oh, it's got little. Interesting. It's got an extra little washer on each side of the blade. Hmm. So there's like a little washer and then you've got your bearings over the top of that. It's kind of interesting setup. I like to do this, put her back together with the blade. Oh no. Come on. With the blade open, it seems to be a little easier, less pressure against the uh, the frame piece with the liner lock right there. When you come down on it this way, it's you're putting that pressure on it versus this way where it's not. And this does not want to stay when I try to pop that down. But you have to be there because it's going to come down on top of that and it needs to be in position. Why doesn't that want to do its thing? Alright, we're we're doing tweezers. See if I can make this get in there. See that's what sucks. It's like why can't you just go on both parts at the same time? It's just I did a little test fit with this. Maybe I will try with the blade in. I did a test fit with it and for some reason the pin for the stinking pivot is tight and just doesn't want to pop through there worth a damn. Okay, we're here. We're making it. We're going to make it. Okay, let's just go ahead and click that open for a second. And when you put a knife back together, you have to be careful about the... <clears throat> the blade centering the blade can be off center when you put it back together if you do it wrong so you have to kind of pay attention to both sides as you as you reassemble so that you can keep that blade right where it's supposed to be okay let's get all these body screws in How are we doing? 19 minutes. Not the worst. These videos are a little bit longer, but you do, there's a lot going on. I think it's kind of fun. I, I've considered maybe doing some editing or some time lapse or something, but I, for some, everybody has their own taste. And for me, there's something to be said for raw, you just get to see the whole process. 
you know, uh, watch me talk through it with the issues that I've got and like the, the flaws and the things. And then you're like, oh, you forgot that or whatever. And you get to just, you see it all. You get to see every single little part of it. And uh, for now, that's just kind of how I'm rolling and um, enjoying it and kind of, like I said, and let people kind of see the whole thing. And then, you know, let's say, whoops, let's say this is a project you want to get into. You want to try. Well, you get to see the person who is doing it and every little issue that they have. I did put that one screw that didn't match in the center. It's got these blue screws that aren't very well, I don't know, anodized, if you want to call it anodized. Is that, that is it, I need to forget. Okay, we are almost there. Let's close the blade and tighten it down for the most part. Not bad. So let's get the rest of the frame tightened up. I like to not tighten one side too much. Um, I like to tighten both sides kind of equally at the same time. And kind of go back and forth a little bit. It takes a little bit longer, but I feel like getting the screws, getting the right tension on both sides. You know, if you have one side that's really tight and then the other side maybe can't get as tight, there's not as many threads um, grabbing on that side. Maybe it maybe doesn't matter at all, but it's just kind of one of those things I like to do to kind of keep it as even and uniform as I can. And pocket clip ones, you want to tighten them pretty good, and then I kind of go back around because once you get one tight, it can loosen the other one just a little bit or let, let release a little tension from the other one. You got to be real careful with these T6s too. If you do it too quick, it's stripped out. Okay, just a little bit tight. Let's loosen that just a slight, still centered. We are done. 22 minutes. Not the worst in the world. Okay. Die number 17. Finish. The Ethan Grill. Opens good. Closes good. Blade centered. As usual, it kind of opens a little bit better. or works a little bit better than when you originally took it apart. There's that purple in the background there so we've got the orange purple and then all those blue screws maybe I should have done blue whatever the blue looks actually really sticks out a lot more in the camera than it does in in my actual eyes but I don't know that's a tree trio tone yeah kind of weird maybe all right well we did it we made it focus where are my other ones? Let's get them all. How? We got to take a look at all these briefly. Uh, I can't zoom out anymore. Almost all of them in there, right? There it is. Die 17, done. I know there's only 16 of them here. We've got that marble die we're going to do soon. Uh, pay attention for that. It'll be coming up pretty quick. We've completed the Ethan Grow with the purple backspacer. Didn't turn out too bad. This we'll, we'll kind of see long term. I'm going to leave it on the table like I did before for a month, and see what the uh, what happens with that frame piece. To see if that rust comes back. Yeah, that's what everyone think. Not too bad. Kind of an interesting look. Kind of strange, yeah, I know, but maybe I should have just done blue. Oh, maybe I'm just weird. Tell me, comment below, is this ugly? Is this hideous? Is this, it's an experiment. We're testing stuff, having fun. That's going to be it for today. If you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Wow, I did notice the uh, that wood grainy kind of a look because of the contouring. You can see all those extra little lines. It's kind of neat. I say neat a lot, don't I? Need to work on that. But yeah, stay sharp. We will see you soon.